And there's also, I think, some underlying structural reasons um, when you start looking out over longer term time horizons, which obviously long term bonds do, that are essentially deflationary in nature. And those are primarily twofold. One, of course, AI, which um, while in the short run has certain inflationary aspects, um, longer run, say 5, 10, 15 years out, I think has significant deflationary aspects. And then the other deflationary aspect is really the decline in the size of the labor force across the developed world, where, you know, in the 1970s, which a lot of people talk about the 70s or stagflation, uh, we had no, one, an oil shock, and we don't certainly don't have that with crude at, in, in the low 60s. But we also had a very rapidly expanding labor market because we had all of these baby boomers, people born in 1945. What were they doing in 1975, right? They were 30 years old, starting families in the workforce. Women were coming into the workforce. So we had this massively expanding uh, workforce, which we which we don't have. And so that is going to, you know, again, be be a little bit of a, a, a temper on 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 per capita growth or not per per capita growth, but on overall aggregate growth because the labor force just isn't expanding the way it did in previous decades. 